If all goes according to plan, Will Plummer will play the entire game this Saturday, with Jed Fish looking for consistency as the Wildcats face NAU. That was just one of the many topics addressed Thursday when Coach Fish met with the media. My goal would be uh, to play Will the whole game. That would be, uh, that would be my goal for the game. Uh, be able to, I think we need to get some uh, continuity back there. And I feel that at this point in time, um, you know, we've, we've seen some stuff now out of the guys and uh, would like to see Will take it, you know, and see what he can do this game and see how that looks. Um, and that's kind of where my mind is right now. I, I think it's come down to, uh, for Will, knowledge is power, as they say. And the more he became comfortable with what we were trying to accomplish, uh, the more he felt more comfortable under center, the more he felt that he could see a defense and had more uh, familiarity with the play calling, he became more and more comfortable with executing the plays. Uh, as I challenge him, you know, you should get to a point where I should only have to say a couple of the formation and the, forma the formation and maybe the motion and they should know what play is coming. Uh, for each game plan. And I think each day this week, uh, he became more and more familiar and really has become uh, pretty good at being able to talk the game. All right, uh, you had said on Monday that uh, you were gonna give Jordan some extra opportunities in practice. How's that looked so far? And do you envision like a package for him or something in the game? Or no, um, not a package at this point in time. What Jordan's been able to do you know, it's, it's just hard to get three quarterbacks ready for any game. And um, so what we did was we gave Jordan um, the majority of the twos this week, which would enable him to be able to, um, if going into the game or if we decided, you know, if there was something that occurred that he'd be ready to go. Um, to do that, we didn't necessarily want to create some new plan that would just incorporate him for certain plays. It was more of just one more week of him being able to take less plays with the scout team and more plays um, with the, uh, the starting offense. Rich, what can you do as a play caller to help him settle into a rhythm early in the game? Well, um, the biggest thing would be to play a normal game and not get caught up in a situation where the score is dictating some play calling. Um, I also think that, you know, you can always make sure, you know, get certain easy plays, so to speak. But even, you know, this past game, you know, the sixth play of the game, the offense is six plays and we're down 21 nothing. We go back in and we hit a couple screens and it's 21 to seven. And, you know, you're kind of getting into a little bit of a rhythm. And then we, um, we, we get a stop. We don't go out there and uh, we, we have a B.J. Castile's open right in front on a, on a route and we don't hit him and then we take a sack and then we wind up you know having to punt and then they score and then it's hard, hard to get into a rhythm after that um, but there were still plenty of times too I think that if we just play with a good rhythm and timing um, trust trust the plays trust the receivers trust the blocking scheme um, the more trust you have the better you play and I think that's kind of the things that I've talked to uh, Will about this week is, hey, just trust it. Trust the calls, trust the blocking, trust the receivers. And it's okay to, you know, throw to where they're going to be. You don't have to wait to see them get there. Jed, um, you mentioned the tackling last week. Uh, what's the focus of the defense? Yeah, well, that, that is the focus. Uh, we had 16 missed tackles last week, um, six the week before. We had three penalties against BYU. I think we had eight penalties against uh, San Diego State. So the focus is to understand our number one, our number one deal is before you learn how to win, you have to learn how not to lose. And for us right now, it's a matter of blocking and tackling, right? That's fundamentals. Um, and that's where our main focus is and has been all week long. Um, we scrimmaged yesterday. We went out there. We tackled in our stadium. Um, we went out there and uh, had some live drills, live periods. And I think you need to do that sometimes. And when you're building something, um, you know, part of that build is to make sure that fundamentals never get forgotten while you're dealing with scheme. Jaden and Rich, 
So uh, after the BYU game, those of us sitting in the room thought you guys were playing you know, a pretty good game. I think you guys thought that game. It sort of wasn't a feeling after the San Diego State game. How did the players respond to what happened Saturday and how did they do in practice? Yeah, well, I mean, the first seven minutes of the San Diego State game was bad. The next 53 minutes, it was 17-14. And, you know, that that's, I mean, that's the truth of the game. You can't let a game get out of hand, right? Um, but what we need to do is we need to make sure that we continue to just play hard and play well and recognize that each opportunity, each moment we have is going to be a moment to get better and to um, – we have to get out of the rut of losing, and we we can't ever accept it. And uh, our guys haven't accepted it. But you also have to find a way that it's been it's been a while around here that we've won, um, you know. And we've had I think one winning season since 2015, right? So I think we had three and nine in 2016, then seven and six in 2017, then five and seven in 2018, and then four and eight and then 0 and five. So we need to find a way and now 0 and two. So we need to find a way to get off of that um, streak, start building this thing, start winning some ball games. Or, and um, I think our guys recognize that and, and want to do that. I'm now joined by Matt Moreno to talk about this weekend's matchup. Do you think that Saturday's game will be the one to break their losing streak? And what are some keys to make that happen? I do. I think a lot of it, not a lot of it, but some of it has to do with the opponent this weekend. NEU's coming here 0-2, haven't uh, had a good start to this season at all. Uh, they had their starting quarterback go down with an injury in the first game, have been rolling with a backup since then. Uh, we'll see what his status is for this week. But uh, a lot of their issues have been similar to what Arizona's had going on with, with you know, its offense not being able to get in the end zone and doing some of those things. But So I think part of it is going to be on that. But I also think it just felt like Arizona – felt a little bit different after this loss to San Diego State. I don't know if it was, it's hard to say that they had a wake-up call, you know, after 14 straight losses, but it feels like they had a wake-up call. I think they were fully expecting to win that game. That's not to say they weren't expecting to win other games during the streak, but I think they felt like, hey, this is the game that's going to you know, end this streak, and it just didn't happen. They came out flat, did a lot of things they didn't do in that first game against BYU, and so I think there's been a different mindset uh, this week. Um, we'll see what that leads to. Maybe it doesn't lead to a win, but, I mean, if Arizona doesn't win this game, there's going to be some issues, uh, bigger issues at play. But I think the mindset is right. I think Jed Fish is able to, has been able to get through to his team the way he wanted. Um, the change in Will Plummer, I think, is a big one. I think that's going to play a significant role in what Arizona is able to do offensively, which is kind of where it's been lacking the most. Um, defensively, they've been okay. Um, last week wasn't great. They had a lot of missed tackles. They need to clean that up, but they've at least shown they can do that. The offense hasn't shown that it can get in the end zone very much, and so I think that change going from Gunnar Cruz to Will Plummer is going to be a big deal and help Arizona out this weekend. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. this Saturday. With Matt Moreno, I'm Avery Klanowski for GoAZCats.com.